What's up everybody? This is Super Can B and this is Bros Talk Baseball. Today I'm joined by my boy Josh over at Baseball Lifestyle. Josh, what's up man? How you doing? How's it going man? Thank you for having me on the show. I appreciate it. Man. Hey, no problem. Any time is a good time over here at Bros Talk Baseball. For the fans that don't know who you are, which shouldn't be a lot because you run a pretty successful business over there at Baseball Lifestyle. Could you give a little summary about what you do? Yeah, for sure man. So Baseball Lifestyle 101 is the largest follow baseball brand on social media platform obviously on Instagram. Uh, we have all of our apparel from hats, you know, jewelry, socks, everything. And then we also just love to create uh, content that's surrounded, you know, surrounded around baseball. I see you got a snapback on. I believe it is baseball. Oh, that's a new release, right? Yeah, that's our new galaxy lid. Uh, I've had this thing in the back burner for like a year and people have just been like, all my friends have wanted it, so we finally released it. Um, you guys can definitely get this hat. Uh, our website is bl101.com for those who do not know. Nice, dope. Go check that out. But Josh is here because he's going to talk some baseball with the bro. Is that right, Josh? I mean, come on. Right, Let's get into it. Now, you're from New York, so I thought I'd cater this video East Coast style, and we're going to talk about the Tampa Bay Rays. They are currently 85 and 67. 85 and 67 is not cutting in the AL East because you have the Red Sox, you have the Yankees. And you have teams like the A's who are, are in like the 90 win category that are competing for the second wild card spot. So if you're the Tampa Bay Rays, your playoff spots are, are dim. But in the NL West, that's the best record. If the Tampa Bay Rays were in the NL, not only would they probably make the playoffs, but they'd probably be clinching a division. This has sparked a lot of debate online because the way baseball does their playoffs is you have to either win your division or be the next best team in the, in the league, pretty much, and only four teams make it. But unlike other sports, like basketball, uh, for instance, it's you win your division or you're the next five best teams in your conference. Teams that are like the Tampa Bay Rays in basketball make the playoffs because they did good in the season. So I thought it'd be cool to talk about whether uh, baseball should change this policy or should they keep this? Like, is this just a blimp and we should just shake it off and tip our cap to like, that's just baseball. What do you think, Josh? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely like an interesting, like, an interesting topic and you know, I kind of go back and forth on this uh, mm -hmm. because part of me says that, you know, I don't like the basketball playoffs because I feel like everybody can get in. It's not special. Thing with baseball being special, where it's only those teams that you know you have two wild card in the whole game playoff, which has been an amazing thing. As much as like you know, it puts emphasis on winning your division, and it's also a great game to watch. It's been historically an amazing game. Honestly, I would say you have to leave it how it is. I mean, it's just one of those things that you know we all knew going into the season that the American League was definitely lopsided compared to the National League. And Mm -hmm. I really don't think there's much you can do about it. I mean, it is what it is. I, mean, I can say the same thing as a Yankee fan. I can be like, if the Yankees were in any other division in baseball, they'd be clinching a division. Yeah. But of course, you know, you're in the Red Sox division where they've won 104 games. That's crazy. And my dad's a Giants fan. I'm a San Francisco Giants fan. He's always brought up to me the time when the Giants won, I believe, 101 games and the Dodgers won 102. Oh. And have a wild card and the Giants went home. That's so, like, brutal. I think it's just the core games of baseball that we all love. That I don't think you can really honestly change it. I kind of I agree with you as well. Baseball has changed with the wild card policy to allow more teams an opportunity to make the playoffs. And I think also what they want to do is they want to give a disadvantage to someone who makes the wild card by having him do the one game elimination. I think part of this was goes back to 20, uh, 2011 when the St. Louis Cardinals had to play that kind of last game 162 to decide it. And the Tampa Bay Rays had to play the 162 to decide it. And it was just so much drama, so much excitement, got everyone hyped for the playoffs and everything like that. So that's why they did that. I, I agree with you too. Like, if you're gonna compete in the in the AL, you gotta know your league. It's not like the NL where every single team you're gonna be playing can beat you. Two of the worst teams in the division are the Orioles and the Royals. They have like 100 plus losses. And then the AL Central, just to begin with, is, is this Cleveland and that's it, pretty much. The AL West is, is lopsided too, as far as there's two clear teams and then everyone else is pretty much. If the Rays wanted to make the playoffs this year, they, they have to understand that they can't just win 85 games, especially since the competition, half their teams that they're playing are like easy wins. With the Dodgers, every single team they play, other than, you know, your exception in the Mets, I believe, that's pretty much the worst team I could think of right now. That like even the Mets are no walk in the park. They got 
one of the Cy Young nominees. In my opinion, the Cy Young winner. I think it's just something that baseball hasn't seen in a while, so that's why everyone's making a big deal about it. But should they change? I don't think so. Well, Josh, I think we're gonna wrap it up. Thanks for uh, joining us on the show today. Uh, remember, Josh is at Baseball Lifestyle 101 on Instagram. I'll put that link in the description below. And guess what, guys? Bros Talk is teaming up with Baseball Lifestyle. And guess what? We're giving you a special 10% discount code if you use our code Bros Talk. All together, all capitalized. If you use our code Bros Talk, you're going to get 10% off anything on Baseball Lifestyle's website. That's pretty exciting, right? I mean, who want to show them the hat? Show them this hat. Look at that, dude. Come on, 10% off that? Come on, dude. Snag it right now. Let's do it. Thanks for being on the show, Josh. 10%, man. Thanks for having me, bro. We will see you guys next time. Peace. Cody Ross, best calves in the game. Have you seen his calves? He had the high socks. You know, his calves were nice. Just plump calves, dude. I had to meet the calf goals after seeing his calves.